and or trailer coming up. I've not seen any teaser or anything to this show yet. But it's following, I know it's following Andor, who was a character in Star Wars Rogue One, which overall I enjoyed. Um, see, but it just, it does seem weird to make a series about this guy, because I don't remember him being like a fan favourite character or particularly memorable, I guess. He just doesn't stand... I could imagine a series about the other guy who randomly killed himself for no reason. Or let himself be killed for no reason. There was a guy called... What was he called? I don't... Saw Guerrera. Spoiler for Rogue One. Not much of a spoiler since he doesn't do anything really. But I can imagine a spin-off series about that guy. I think he's actually in this trailer. I did see like a screenshot somewhere... Twitter probably um, but and or I don't know I don't know let's see okay kind of Lord of the Rings vibes huh? okay Star Destroyer very low in the sky I don't think we've seen the Star Destroyer that low in the sky before it's basically next basically off the ground really to steal from the Empire. actually we did see in rise of skywalker but they came out of the water so not the ground you just walk in like you belong hang I on i'm just going to rewind it steal from the empire you just walk in like you belong so Yay! I'm glad that we've seen we're seeing this building again, the Senate building. It looks worse than it did in the prequels. It looked good in the prequels. Here it looks blatantly CGI. I don't understand that. It probably did. I don't know. It looks it look, looks like it's been updated a little bit, but it just looks not as good if it's the same place. So fat and satisfying. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? Bunch of gibberish right there. I can get for the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. So my thoughts so far I'm not really sure. It kind of it kind of seems good, but I'm not really sure who the clear villain is. I'm guessing it's this woman. Where is she here? Um, where is she here? I think she seems to be the main bad guy, even though she's not a guy. But I don't know if there's some kind of significance to why this looks like 
this this coat right here looks like they just got this from the local fashion store. I don't know any names, but it looks like it just looks out of place this this coat this looks this looks okay underneath the coat but over the top I'm just kind of I don't know have we ever seen a black cap with a white uniform before you know they've got black helmets black armor white helmets white armor I don't know if we've seen black cap and white shirt white outfit look black hood black outfit Black cap, black coat. That coat also kind of looks... I think this coat looks better. Because it's kind of thicker, heavier. Um, you know, everyone's got black helmets. Um, these must be the main bad guys. Maybe that's General Hux here. Who knows? Could it be General Hux? No, it can't be. That's... No, it can't be. Looks kind of like him. There's a, there's always a ginger, a ginger officer. He looked a bit like um, Christian Bale. Uh, there seems to be a lot of characters in this. There's this girl. Don't know if she's relevant. These two are they relevant? Are they just background? Her is this meant to be Jin Erso? Cause she does kind of look like her, and it would fit. No, it wouldn't, would it? I'm not sure. I think uh, Andor is older than Jin, so it could fit. I haven't done any kind of research into this. I think this guy would be a great addition to Star Wars. Even though he's a familiar actor, he kind of looks ordinary enough to just fit in. Um, I don't know if they'll write him good, but I think he'll be good acting-wise. This guy, is he relevant? Um, I think that's the same girl. This looks a bit like Rebels, you know, okay, looking a bit hokey. She's meant to be clearly Mon, Mon Mothma. I guess she's going to play as a role, significant role. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really um, tell you much about, well, it seems to be about some kind of I mean, it's kind of difficult. He's part of the uh, Rebel Alliance, so I guess he's just trying to fight back, I guess. Seems kind of boring without any lightsabers, to be honest. Doesn't need to. I mean, Rogue One didn't have any, but the thing people seem to love most about Rogue One was that ending. Um, a lot of people find Rogue One kind of... I don't know. I, I, I think people are kind of split on Rogue One. People say... It's the best out of Disney Star Wars. I've seen that a lot. But a lot of people also say it's kind of dull and boring. And to me, I think um, I would kind of rate it much higher but simply because it does the least damage to the franchise as a whole. And that's kind of the weird thing to how, how to balance. How, if I were to rank the movies, how would I do it? Because on the one hand, there's pure entertainment value, pure spectacle, effects, lightsabers and space battles and on the other hand it's it might be a bit more boring, there might be characters you don't like as much but but the movie does less damage to the franchise so do I rate that higher than a movie that does more damage but is more fun to watch? So it's kind of a weird thing. I, I kind of tend to rank the ones that do the least damage higher up, even if they're more boring. I think that's what Rogue One kind of is, even though it had a lot of, uh, I don't know about a lot, but it had some good, great space battles in Rogue One, uh, at least. So, I don't know. I liked Rogue One, and or I was not looking forward to at all. I just didn't know why they picked him, why they thought to do this. Maybe it's because they they realised that Rogue One is the, one of the most well-received Star Wars movies. If not, I think it probably is the most well-received that they've done so far. It even says here, from the creators of Rogue One, they made sure to tell everyone that. Because they know, they must know that 
people like that one the best, so I guess that's why they did this. I think it would have made more sense to do it from the perspective of Jin, even though she maybe she's too young in this. Maybe they didn't want to follow a teenage child, however old she is, main character. That's probably why they chose Andor, but I don't know. I think it kind of makes more sense to follow Jin because I think she's just more interesting than Andor, even though we see him kill people and that makes him shady, but there's a whole gap with Jin that we just don't know what she was doing because her, the person who saved her randomly left her somewhere for some reason and then she he <laughs> let himself be killed for some reason. And that was odd, but yeah, anyway. I'll definitely be watching this if I if, if I had the choice because I watch everything Star Wars even though the last thing they did was absolutely terrible the last series they did this looks a lot better I just don't understand what they were thinking with Obi-Wan this looks way better than Obi-Wan but I don't remember what Obi-Wan I don't remember my reaction to the trailer of Obi-Wan I think the trailer made it look better than it was maybe but the main problem with Obi-Wan was the story. It's not really... The visuals, you know... I think visuals aren't the most important thing. But with that big a budget and with such a big named brand, you would just expect it to be great. Not even just okay or good. You'd expect it to look great every time. That's kind of just like the minimum you'd expect. But the story is the main issue. I, I rank, you know, story is the most important thing, so... This could look good, but not... Who knows what what will happen, you know. Tell me your thoughts below. Uh, are you looking forward to Andor? Did you enjoy the previous series by Disney? Obi-Wan and Boba Fett and Mandalorian? Let me know below. Bye.